Alright, hello everybody, and today I'll be showing you how to set up a wireless lavalier system. Hello everybody, and today I will be walking you through and demonstrating how to set up a wireless lavalier mic system. So today I'll be demonstrating using the Rodelink Wireless Filmmaker Kit. So first things first, you would want to get your transmitters and receivers set up properly before you call in the talents and mic the talents. This is so that you have everything set up and you do not waste any of the talents time after you have mic'd the talents and you have to fondle around with the body pack transmitter on the talents. So it always makes sense to fully set up everything and test it out to make sure it's working before you mic the talent. So batteries in, power on both the receiver and the transmitter. And as the case for any wireless system, you need to pair both the transmitters and receivers together, either by setting them to be on the same channel or on the same frequency. On the road links, they operate on channels. So I have set both these units to channel six, so they are paired. I can see on the receiver that it's receiving a signal from the transmitter. Now for most of the wireless systems, on the transmitter, there's always an option to boost your input signal and on the receiver, there's always the option to pad or cut your output signal. So use these accordingly to get good audio levels. On the transmitter, it functions as to boost the input signal from the mic itself. On the receiver, if the signal is coming out a bit too hot and overloading your preamps, then you can cut down the signal so it's less harsh. So the receiver should usually always come with a hot shoe mount. So you want to mount that to your camera's hot shoe and secure it. And then because I'm plugging it into a 5D Mark III, I'm using a 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable. One of this is a locking jack. You know it's a locking jack when there is a rotating metal collar. And on the output jack of the receiver here, you can see the jack itself is threaded. So plug it in and you turn the metal collar to secure the locking jack so that if anything tugs on the cable, it will not simply unplug, plug the other end into the camera's mic input jack. Now before that, you'll also want to make sure that the audio levels are good. So just briefly, plug in your lavalier microphone and give it a quick sound check. And I'm getting good audio levels now here. So I'm gonna unplug it now because we're gonna set up the lavalier microphone in a bit. So the lav mic usually comes in three parts. We have the lav mic itself, there's an alligator clip, and it usually also always comes with a windshield. So today we're probably not gonna use the windshield because we're indoors. So attach the lavalier microphone to the alligator clip. For this one, you just press on a piece of metal wire and insert the mic through, and then you release it so that the piece of wire holds it in place. And usually I don't like to leave it like this as a straight cable. I like to grab a little loop of cable and put it inside the alligator clip so that when you let go, there's this little bit of cable dangling down here. So what this does is it acts sort of as like a shock absorber. So if anything jerks on the cable, you have a bit of a free play here. So it doesn't tug directly on the lavalier microphone itself, giving you some weird noises or completely snapping off the whole mic. To achieve the same effect, you can also tie a very, very loose knot in the cable about this size. So if anything tugs on the cable, the knot gets it. You can even combine these two techniques for lost for words here, achieve maximum effect. Okay, so now we're ready. Let's call in the talent. Okay, so usually I like to mic the talent first before attaching the body pack transmitter. Reason being, it's much easier to set up the microphone without a huge brick dangling on the end of it. Okay, so this is Joel here. So here's a lavalier microphone. If you could just put this through your shirt and take it out from your collar for me. Trust me, it's a lot less awkward to ask your talent to do it themselves compared to sticking your hand in their shirt. Yes. All right, so now as you can see, Joel is wearing a shirt with no buttons. So it makes sense to just clip it onto his collar. Make sure the mic is on the outside of the fabric. Now you can see there's a few loose ends here, so just give the tape cable a little tug. Make sure the microphone is on the outside of the fabric and not on the inside, so the mic is not rubbing against your talent, giving you some really weird noises, and it's just really uncomfortable. Now if your talent is wearing a shirt with buttons, like the one I'm wearing right now, or you have a whole row of buttons going down the middle, I usually like to stick out the mic between the first and second button and then just clip it on. 
So height differences are usually only apparent when you start to stand up. Anyway, it's time to attach the body pack transmitter to the talon. So you usually want to mount it right beside the talons or behind the talon. The idea is so that it's hidden from the camera. But anyway, here's a locking jack as well. So we're going to plug it in, lock it. And then all you have to do is just clip it onto the talon's pants at waist level. So we're going to clip it onto the side here. Once that's done, you can cover it with a shirt. But as you can see now here, we have a bit of loose cable here. That was the knot earlier. You might want to tie the knot earlier up. It should be somewhere near the talent's abdomen. So this is a bad example. Do not put the knot here. So if you have any loose cables around, usually I just tuck it underneath the transmitter and then just cover all that mess with the shirt. So that's the basic way of setting up a lavalier microphone. However, in some cases, wardrobe might get a bit tricky. For example, your talent's wearing a dress. So imagine Joel here in a dress. Now in such cases, there might be nowhere for you to clip the transmitter onto at waist level. Some dresses may have sort of a belt thingy whereby you can get away with clipping on your transmitter, although it might be more visible because there's no shirt to cover it. However, if that is completely not an option, then you're really gonna have to get creative with it. Now, there is one known way to secure a body pack transmitter in such cases, and it requires a piece of essential medical equipment. This is called a crap bandage. <laughs> So for demonstration purposes, imagine that clipping the transmitter here is not an option and we have to secure it elsewhere. So take the bandage and wrap it around your talon's thighs really quite tightly. That was not supposed to happen. So that it doesn't slip down sometime later. Lock it down and then take the transmitter and then clip it onto the bandage. It's a tight fit. So she's good. <laughs> and then just hide everything under the dress and it should be nice and discreet. And so that everything's set up, if I roll the clip here, we should get clear audio from Joel. Shit, I forgot my card. <laughs> Okay, so I'm rolling a clip now, so there should be nice clean audio coming from the lavalier mic that Joel's wearing. Say something. Hi. Hi. What's up? Something. S something. Yes. Yes. Sometimes something is everything. Something is everything. Yes. Sometimes. Alright everybody, so that's pretty much how you set up a wireless lavalier system. Thank you Joel for being so generously sacrificial of your body today. So that's pretty much it for today everybody. If you have any questions or any comments, just leave them down in the comment section below. So that's it for today everybody. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.